Step right up to the big top five. We're serving high octane action, riveting sports insights and the thrill of competition condensed into bite-sized moments. Stay tuned and feel the adrenaline rush. Did you know that St. David's Day, celebrated on the 1st of March, is named after a man who was believed to have been over seven feet tall? That's right, the patron saint of Wales, St. David, is said to have been a veritable giant among men. This towering figure was not just physically impressive, but he also left an indelible mark on the spiritual landscape of Wales. St. David's Day is a traditional feast day in Wales, marking the death of this revered saint. It's a day filled with pride, tradition, and of course a touch of the Welsh flair for the dramatic. On this day, you'll often see Welsh people adorning themselves with daffodils or leeks, two powerful symbols of their nation, in honor of their towering patron saint. So every year, the Welsh pay tribute to their gigantic patron saint with a celebration that's larger than life. This is St. David's Day, a day of giants, a day of Welsh pride, and a day of remembrance for a figure who truly stood head and shoulders above the rest. St. David, the man of the hour, was not only tall, but also a vegetarian and teetotaler. Known for his lifestyle of simplicity and restraint, he truly embodied the ideals of humility and self-denial. He was a man who believed in the power of little things. This belief was not only reflected in his diet, but also in his teachings. St. David was a man of few indulgences. He abstained from meat and alcohol, adhering to a diet of bread, herbs, and water. His lifestyle was a testament to his commitment to modesty and austerity. It was said that his strength and vitality were proof that one could thrive on such a simple diet. His teachings resonate even today, particularly his famous phrase, do the little things. This phrase is now a popular adage in Wales reminding us all of the power of small actions carried out with great love. St. David, a giant in stature and in virtue, certainly practiced what he preached. St. David's Day isn't just about feasting on food, but also on Welsh culture. A vibrant tapestry of tradition unfolds in the form of parades, concerts, and the uniquely Welsh Eisteddfodau. These gatherings are a festival of literature, music, and performance, steeped in the rich heritage of Wales. Parades, resplendent with colorful costumes and lively music, wind their way through towns and cities, creating a carnival atmosphere. Concerts, featuring local bands and choirs, fill the air with melodies that tug at the heartstrings, while the Eisteddfodau showcase the artistic prowess of the Welsh people. Eisteddfodau, a cornerstone of Welsh cultural expression, bring together poets, musicians and performers in a celebration of creative talent. The significance of these events lies not just in their entertainment value, but in their role in preserving and promoting Welsh heritage. With every song and dance, the Welsh keep their culture and their patron saint's legacy alive. On St. David's Day, one symbol stands out among the rest, the daffodil. This vibrant yellow bloom is not just a sign of the approaching spring, but also a national symbol of Wales. It's worn with pride by the Welsh people on St. David's Day. But have you ever wondered why? Well, there are a few theories. One of the most popular is a case of linguistic confusion. You see, in Welsh, the word for leek, another national emblem, is keninen, while the word for daffodil is keninen peder. Over time, it's thought that these two terms may have been mixed up, leading to the daffodil's adoption as a symbol of St. David. But regardless of how it came to be, the daffodil is now an emblem of Welsh identity just as much as the leek. So whether it's a leek or a daffodil, the Welsh wear their national pride on their sleeves, or rather, on their lapels. Despite its significance, St. David's Day is not a public holiday in Wales yet. This might surprise you, but it's true. The vibrant celebrations, the unity, the pride, they all happen without an official day off. But there's been a debate, a passionate one, ongoing for years about whether this should change. In 2007, a petition was submitted to the UK government, urging them to make St. David's Day a public holiday in Wales. The petition garnered considerable support, but the proposal has yet to be accepted. Nevertheless, the flame of this idea hasn't been extinguished. Many still advocate for this change, believing that Wales's patron saint deserves a day of rest and celebration. Their voices continue to echo through the valleys and hills of this proud nation. So, while it's not an official day off, 
St. David's Day remains a day of national pride and celebration for the Welsh.